So, Bunny. Yes. I wanted to start off this episode of the podcast as I have done oh so many times before. Yes. Oh, how many episodes I have done. So many episodes. So many times. I would like to start off this episode by talking about The Rapture. Okay. The Rapture, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. So, I was listening to uh, a, a couple of days ago, I was listening to American Family Radio, AFR Talk, a ministry of the American Family Association. And they were talking about the rapture, which, if, if you know anything about the Bible or fundamentalist Christianity, or what Kirk Cameron likes to masturbate to, I'm assuming, it's the ridiculous idea that the nonsensical historical allegory of dumb trippy shit known as the book of revelations is in fact a prophecy about what is exactly going to happen at the end times and and some people are like oh well maybe this is a metaphor for the end times no this is exactly what's going to happen at the end times <laughs> one million angels are going to come down and they're going to going to wrestle a uh, one million headed demon and then the eighth seal is going to open up and there's going to be gold like, that is exactly going to happen because it's written in this book. Yes. So, so then there's the concept of the rapture, and that's when all the good Christians are going to allegedly be carried up into heaven. Cough, cough, bullshit, cough, cough, in parenthesis. Yeah. But apparently, I didn't know this, apparently there's a big fundamentalist Christian war going on regarding the rapture. I had no idea that really? Christians were fighting. Yeah. Christians were fighting other Christians over something as bullshitty as Christians rising into the sky, well, into the magical place in the clouds. Yeah, well, your more mainstream um, denominations, and I'm losing track as what defines mainstream anymore. But, yeah. <laughs> but like, the Catholics don't believe in the rapture, and a lot of, like, Episcopalians, I don't think they believe in the rapture. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so there are a whole lot of fucking Christians that don't believe in the rapture. Yeah. Well, apparently there are four different factions, four different theories in regards to the rapture. Yeah. So, so, so there are four different theories. Number one, no rapture. And that's that that there's that there there really is no direct reference to Christians being lifted up into the sky and raptured in the book of Revelations. So, no, there is no rapture. So there are some Christians out there who don't believe that the rapture is going to take place. Then there right. is there, there are allusions to it in different parts of the Bible. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. But, but no, not in Revelations. Yeah. But then there are um, pre-tribbers. These are pre-tribulation people. They have the idea that the rapture happens before the tribulation shit starts. So before uh, the, the fire rains down and before the flood of uh, beavers, I don't know. But, but so, so pre-tribbers believe that the rapture happens, does in fact happen, and it happens before all the shit goes down. Yeah. So that... The pre-tribbers, it, that's the most popular theory in regards to the rapture. And it's, well, I, popular, I think it's it, popular because of Left Behind. That is the no. reason why pre-tribbers are the most popular theory, because no. that theory was popularized, popular, popularized by Left Behind. Well, it was, it was out there before. Yeah. It was definitely out yeah. there before. And the, yeah. the Mormons are, are basically pre-tribbers. Okay? Yeah. Because... They are the Latter Day Saints. Yeah, and the Latter Day Saints are the ones that see all of the Christians get raptured and say, "Oh my God, there really is a God," and they then become Christian because of it. And those are the Latter Day yeah. Saints. Those are the saints at the end time, and they're the ones that will go through the tribulation. Yeah. But but for me, but for me, even if I, you know, at this point, even if I see you fucking get raptured, you know, okay, I'll admit there is a God then, of course, but 
I'm still not sure what side I'm on. Yeah, well, there's four <laughs> different sides. There's four different sides. There's no rapture. There's the pre-tribbers. Then there's the mid-rappers. Okay. The mid-rappers believe that the rapture does happen, but for whatever Bible math bullshit there is out there, they believe that the rapture happens exactly three and a half years into the tribulation. That there's some sort of reference to it in yes. Revelation. And so they believe that the, trip, that, that the rapture does happen, but, but three and a half years into it. I, yeah, I heard that somewhere. I heard that uh, it was actually a street preacher that I had seen on YouTube. Yes, they, they, he had said that the rapture uh, marks the midpoint of the tribulation. Yes, yes, yeah. So and so, so there's the no rappers, there's the pre-tribbers, there's the mid-rappers, and then there's the post-tribbers. And the post, the post-tribbers believe that the rapture will only happen after all of the shit goes down at the end of the tribulation and all of that sort of stuff. Well, I that think would that be fucking stupid. Well, well, here's the thing. I have heard some pre-tribbers yeah. say that they that there's a part of them that is upset that the rapture is going to happen because they don't get to see Jesus. Because Jesus comes way at the end of all the shit. Right. So they, they would not see Jesus return. return. Yeah. Yeah. So but the there are idea, some... But the idea is, okay, you have been the good little suck-ups for just your whole life. I'm not going to put you through the tribulation. Take it before. Yeah. But then there are some, so like... Then you're, you, you, you're you're backstage with Jesus before he goes on stage. Yeah, you know there'll be women yeah. like showing their tits to Jesus and shit. Yeah, yeah the pre-trivers get into the VIP section. The wine will be flowing, you know, all of that good shit. And then yeah. you watch from the wings as Jesus gets on stage. Yeah, you know, so, but, but so if you I do it at the end, if you do it at the end, it, it's just a fucking waste, and there's no reason to do it. Okay. Yeah. Because Jesus comes down. Yeah. All right. And that's judgment. Jesus does the judgment on Earth. Yeah. Okay. So I, it's like yeah. it's like Jesus. poof. Everybody comes up, and then everybody comes back down. Yeah, Jesus. This Jesus not comes a down teeter judges. Jesus comes down and judges the planet Earth by saying, "Show me what you got." <laughs> That's what happens. God just comes down. Show me what you got. And if and you know if we pass, then Jesus goes, "I like what you got." And I I. I'm yes, Maxwell. Hoping. Yes, Maxwell. And if you fail, he says, "Eliminated." Yeah, or disqualified. Disqualified. Yeah, either way, that's a Rick and Morty reference. Uh, my my son is going to hell. I I damn it, what was it? It was very clear. Moving on. So moving on. So, so I think that the post-tribbers are actually just pre-tribbers who are upset that they don't get to stay and watch Jesus come back. So they're like, oh, well, how about we just say that the rapture happens at the end? That way we can stay and watch it when Jesus comes back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So basically Christians are fighting Christians, all this Christian on Christian violence. Over some bullshit that they think is a prophecy, which pun a lot of pundits now believe is just a trippy allegory of some battle that happened a long ass time ago. In yeah. fact, I don't even have a funny ending to this bit. <laughs> I just find it absolutely fascinating that Christians are at war with other Christians over bullshit. Like, I, that shit's just interesting to me. I you just know? hope that Jesus opens with a joke. You know? Right? I don't think right. that's asking for that much. 
church, okay? Jesus would come back and he would put his arms out and it would be like the running scene in Forrest Gump. No, wait, wait, he's yeah. going to say something. Yeah. And, you know, and then, oh, Reverend, yeah. he's got and that Jesus. halo around him, his aura yeah. and shit, and he goes, I like big butts and I cannot lie. You're the most can't deny. Or <laughs> well, how about this? Jesus goes, Jesus goes, hey, everybody, how you doing? How you doing tonight? Glad to have you all here. Your mama is so fat, it's going to take three raptures to get her ass up to heaven. Huh? The maybe a your mom joke. Like, I'm not sure. That was the first thing that came to my head. But this shit's interesting, like me. Like, like kind of how Republicans are getting decimated right now by other Republicans. Yeah. That if there's one thing a Republican hates, it's another Republican. Yeah, so Republicans, Republicans right there's now, blood in the water, and the Republicans are in a feeding frenzy. Yeah. Yeah, Republicans are Republicans' own worst enemy right now. And basically, so are Christians. So Christians are fighting over all this Christian shit. In fact, in my mind, like the way that I see this whole four different factions in regard to the rapture, the way I see it is basically like West Side Story. Yeah. Like Christians just going up to other Christians. But, but, you know, fighting. Yeah. 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 That would be cool. That would be cool. Death yeah. matches. Death matches. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 you, you, like you go into a church and there's different sections of the church, like, uh, like, like a, like a religious, the warriors. And then, like, you're, like, there's someone going into the church for the first time. Ooh, don't sit there. That's where the pre-tribbers sit. <laughs> and the pre-tribbers are all there for whatever reason, dressed like baseball players. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, no, don't sit there either. That's where the mid-rappers sit. And the mid-rappers are there getting angry at the pre-tribbers, and the pre-tribbers are getting angry. And then, oh, who sits over there? Oh, those are the socias. They hate yeah. the greasers, and the greasers hate the socias. Yes. yes. Hey, I said I did not have a funny ending for this bit, but I feel like I kind of ad-libbed a bit of a funny ending. That's, that's so not bad, but I, I'm I think not, that, I'm not yeah. Um, okay. You know, and, and it's like, okay, even if, even if the rapture, like, actually happens, yeah. and a seven-headed dragon does come out of the sea, that God is still kind of a douchebag. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's it's yeah. like, man, I, I, you know, I, I'm really having to think that the devil is getting mad at us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, that's, that's like, like, Natasha and I used to love watching the NBC show Lucifer. It was okay. It wasn't the best. But one of the reasons why the show is so good is just because you know that somewhere as you're watching the show Lucifer, yeah. there is a Christian shitting himself. <laughs> yes. And just that general concept of, of like, a, the show's okay, but oh my God, you know who the good guy is in this show? Lucifer. Somewhere out there in Alabama, there is a Christian that's literally like red with rage over that. Rebuking their television. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like covering their TV in like holy water and shit. That somewhere out there in the Bible Belt, there is a Christian that's freaking out over the idea of uh, this long haired Mexican and his white wife. And his mixed kids sitting down on a couch in front of a TV going, you know what? I think Lucifer is hilarious. <laughs> you know, you know who I like? That Lucifer guy. Yeah, just that general idea makes the show better than it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I might have to check it out somewhere. I've heard it's good. Yeah. You know, but, but it, this is the God who loved slavery. You know? yep. And yep. how you can beat your slaves and what should be the selling price of 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 a slave, you know? And yeah. and how can we trick people into slavery? And it also favors uh, you know, ridiculous misogyny. We can't even 
go there. And child yeah. molestation. It's <laughs> a horrible thing. I don't want to hang out with you for a turn. Yeah. It's like, hey, 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 how you doing? It's me, God. Uh, go kill your son. And then the guy's like, yeah, no problem. And then God just waits the whole time, just sitting there going, <laughs> dude, he's totally doing it. Oh, shit, he's about to do it. Dude, 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 stop. You were actually going to do it? I was just fucking with you. <laughs> dude, like, don't kill your children. <laughs> God, me, I guess, is what God would say. God wouldn't say God. <laughs> Me, you suck. So that's why that's why I'm thinking. I mean, because really, we only have have Christians' word for, yeah. for Satan, you know. Yeah. And let's face facts; they're not going to talk to you, you know. Yeah. They're just not gonna. You know, we we don't really have anybody on Satan's side. I mean, even Satan is straight to us. Yeah. You know, Satanists don't really believe in Satan. You know, so speaking, so speaking of Satanists, speaking of Satanists, one credit that I uh, wasn't surprised of when it came to uh, this week's film is yes. organ music by Anton LaVey. Oh God, yes. The, yeah, there were, one, there were one, a credit, few one good credit credits. that did not surprise me was that credit. Yeah, yeah. there were a few really good credits. Let's there was some amazing let's, credit. Let's finish the rest of the show because I get yeah. rare in the middle. Good, good, good. Because I, I, I don't have the most, and also the the intro to that bit is just really, really angry. And for these movies, what I think I'm going to do, okay, is okay. is um, genius is what I'm going to um, throw them up on the pro one. For yeah. these movies because they're really hard to find. Nobody mm-hmm. really knows them except that not many people know of God. I forgot it's on YouTube anyway. Yeah. yeah. But this Crispin Glover thing, I, I, I think people should check it out. I really want to show it to Jeannie and get her opinion on it. Yeah, what I, she I think she's about it because it is definitely fucked up. There's one. Okay, really okay, we gotta weird... stop. We gotta stop. There's one really weird, stupid scene that I tried today to put on Instagram. Yeah. But I couldn't because it was in the wrong format. So, like, I need to get the movie and put it on my computer and then MP4 it and then cut it and then put it on Instagram. But it's just this stupid scene where it's just like a like a cavern and then, like, a doll pops up and then, like, a, 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 a female doll pops up and just, I want to have your babies. And then the head, it, then the girl's head, like, drops down and... Her head is actually a cup, and all these egg yolks keep spilling out. And for some strange reason, I thought that was the funniest scene in the world. And, like, I just kept laughing over and over again. For some reason, I just thought this one stupid scene was just the funniest thing in the world, and I tried to put it on Instagram, and I figured that that would be, that would be interesting, because, like, no one knows this movie. No one knows this movie's existence. But anyway, yeah, let's stop talking about this movie. And, and yeah, but say, I'm, I'm going to throw this and be gotten in the next movie up on the on the Pope on Film Drive in a folder yeah. called Tax Information. Yes. So if any of our listeners uh, are interested in seeing any of these movies, uh, and again, we'll reserve it for things that are really hard to find and nobody really knows, so nobody should really care about you know, helping it get popular. Uh, find me on Facebook. Give me your email address, and I'll add your name to the drop. Nice. 